as you mentioned, it's a sometimes passing spot for the lead, though. Turn number three, Cameron on the outside and into the tire wall. Oh, and he is also blocking the track. This is the second time today we've seen a driver get into the tire wall and wind up in a very precarious position. Yellow flag is out. That is a full course yellow with significant left side damage to the 22 of Mark Antoine Cameron. That is heartbreak for Cameron. He was trying everything he could to get around the 74. We got a couple cars stopped and it looks like the 32 of LeBay had stalled for a second there and now he does come to a stop. That's the exit of turn three. It's tough to refire these engines when they're warm. Well, and under yellow, NASCAR rule, you have to maintain a reasonable caution speed. If cars go by, the officials can deem the 32 did not maintain speed. He could wind up losing those positions. Have another look at the reason for this caution. Uh, Cameron just got into the corner a little bit hotter than he could handle. Yeah and slid up the race track. I mean, there was clearly no contact between Lacroix in the 74 and Cameron in the 22, and he has rolled down to pit lane. Todd? After that contact, out on course, the 22 has made his way to pit road, and the crew saying, looks like we're done. Shutting it off, guys. Tough break for Mark Antoine Cameron. And take nothing away from Mark Antoine Cameron. He was trying. Now, 